Spider marts are parasitic, virtually microscopic pests that live and feed on the underside of leaves. The first visible sign of an infestation are small, whitish, or yellow speckles around the midrib and larger veins. Affected leaves and stems eventually become yellow and dry up. These mites are a common nuisance in gardens and houseplants, capable of inflicting severe damage to the plant, eventually resulting in death if left untreated. These spider mites are in the nymph phase, which is one of the multiple stages of their life cycle. The nymphs are also capable of producing silk. These pests are smaller than one millimeter or one fiftieth of an inch and are capable of affecting a wide variety of host plants. Adult spider mites can be red, orange, yellow, green, or brown in color, often depending on which species of host plant they occur on. Spider mites are capable of reproducing both sexually and asexually. The unfertilized eggs will develop into males and the fertilized eggs will develop into females, a form of reproduction known as aeronautici. This unique form of asexual reproduction also occurs in some insects such as bees, ants, and wasps. Similar to spiders, these mites are capable of producing silk and will commonly spin a fine, protective web on the underside of the leaves, a key identifying characteristic of a spider mite infestation. Using their piercing, needle-like mouthparts, they will puncture the leaf cells and suck out the sap and chlorophyll, thus damaging the plant's overall photosynthetic efficiency. Heavy spider mite infestations are capable of destroying one to two dozen plant cells per minute. Spider mites are arachnids, meaning they're related to spiders, ticks, and scorpions rather than insects. Female spider mites have a lifespan of up to 30 days and are capable of producing anywhere from 90 to 110 eggs during that time, taking as few as five days to become sexually mature. It is due to this great reproduction capacity that spider mite populations tend to explode and are capable of rapidly destroying plants, especially in a hot, dry climate. Spider mites can become very difficult to control. The mite's natural predator, Phytoceulus persimilis, is commonly used as a biological control agent. Other methods to control spider mite infestation include neem oil, insecticidal soap, mite pesticides, and other chemical control agents. However, intensive use of pesticides has led to pesticide resistance in some spider mite populations.